about all of this with the global warming and that, that and a lot of it's a hoax. It's a hoax. I mean, it's a money making industry. Okay. Climate change is not a future problem. Not something we will have to deal with in 2023 and beyond. Climate change is happening now. Uh, my name's Peter Smith and I'm an earth sciences teacher at secondary school. I'm the deputy chairperson of the Sanford Rural Fire Brigade and help manage whatever incident we're attending. Uh, so climate change is something that's been happening on Earth for all of Earth's history and there are many natural causes for that and we've got good history from, for example, ocean sediment, um, atmospheric samples and for most of that then it hasn't been particularly influenced by the presence of people. In the last two years, the daily sea surface temperature has increased dramatically. Between 2010 and 2020, the ocean temperatures only increased by 0.2 degrees Celsius. And now, in 2024, global sea temperatures have increased by 0.6 degrees Celsius. More than they were the same time the year before. This shows how ocean temperatures are increasing exponentially. Oceans warm at a relatively slow rate. And so if they are warming like that, then that is a sign that things on Earth are changing. Ocean temperature affects uh, atmospheric temperature as well because heat is both absorbed and radiated from the ocean. And so that then can affect the short term, the weather that we get as well. One of the things I clearly remember is that some of our members of this brigade who went to New South Wales and they brought back photos of the bushland. You would normally have seen large trees, lots of middle level vegetation, but the pictures just showed a totally black, denuded landscape. There wasn't anything remaining. It was just burnt, scorched earth. And they had never seen such devastation. So that gradual drying has probably produced the conditions plus a very dry couple of years leading up to that. We saw there like, you know, the extremes of what we could get with changing climate. Um, but I think largely it was a natural event. I belong to an organisation called the International Association of Wildland Fire. They have produced their own policy on what they think needs to occur in respect to fire and climate change. And I might actually just read a little excerpt. So they refer to human-induced climate change and the risk. And they basically say the evidence of the war warming of the climate system is unequivocal. And the human contribution to the climate system is clear. Rising global average temperatures are altering global weather patterns resulting in more frequent and intense extreme weather events, such as heat waves, droughts, and large storms. These changes will impact health, the economies of countries, livelihoods, infrastructure, and societies in general. If we're doing things that are rapidly changing the Earth's atmosphere um, via our pollution, etc., etc., then that could also be adding into an effect that uh, is being generated naturally. If we don't moderate our ways, uh, we're going to continue to see this deterioration in climate and we're still going to have extreme weather events which are likely to grow in their severity and frequency. You know, there's all these sort of tipping point potentials out there, um, you know, and all we can do is do more research to try to find out more of the basis for why things would change and happen. Climate change is happening now and it is time to act. It is time to put more resources and manpower into developing better technologies to combat climate change to prevent a climate disaster. I'm calling on you, the Australian people, to express your voice to the Australian government and demand action. Let's stop climate change and build a better and brighter future. Only if they listen.